All right, so here we are with the Quick Fire TK, the fully backlit mechanical keyboard. This version again is the Cherry MX Blue, and I'm pretty pretty excited because I've never had a mechanical keyboard, and I type literally all the time. It is my work. I'm not a gamer, but you know what? I do want to have a nice keyboard because I do work a lot, and I it's just an experience I want to have. Alright, so this is the back of it. It just tells you fully LED, uh, LED backlight, compact layout with the numeric keypad, multimedia uh, and lighting modes, and the Windows key mode, so it disables the Windows key, and the NRO and USB mode, uh, which is when you can type, like you can literally push every single key and it will register every single key. So we just have to take this uh, little sticker out. I thought I was being smart doing that, but that didn't work out. So that's all right. I'll do it like this. I should have brought a knife, but unfortunately I did not. This is really gonna be annoying. Oh man. There we go, almost got it. This is embarrassing. Talk about amateur unboxing, huh? All right, there we go. I gotcha. All right, so here we go. Boom. It's almost like a laptop. Uh, the way they pack laptops. Boom. Incredibly simple uh, boxing, just to straight to the point. This is the keyboard right here. And uh, I kind of don't want to pull out the keyboard, so I'm just going to do one of these, get it out on its own, and the keyboard's already connected, if you can see over here. This is a manual. Uh, you should read this because this it's not an ordinary keyboard, it does have a few functions uh, like activating LG and activating NRO mode and so on and so on. And that's literally it. You don't even need an unboxing. That's all that comes with it. And uh, that is pretty much exactly how it comes. So let's just open this bad boy. Rotate. This wasn't as bad as the first time removing the tape. Alright. That's what I was expecting. Alright, and remove this. And there it is, it's incredibly, incredibly small. Oh man. That's wicked, wicked. All right, and that is that. You know what, in the meantime, I'm just gonna turn on my computer since I'm sitting on my desk anyways, and we're gonna plug it in and take a look. All right. So, it's a braided cable. It's very, very, very strong. Hopefully, um, flip this upside down. The good thing about this is, if some, I don't know why you would need this because this looks like a really strong cable. But in the chance that someone actually uh, rips their cable, they can just replace it. Uh, this is, I believe, this is gold plated. So it's a USB 2.0 uh, cable. Just put that in. You have three ways to route it. You can route it left, right, or center. I'm probably going to use the center because it's probably the easiest, or I can use this one and take it from this side under the table. But for now, I'm just going to use the center and I'm just going to plug this. All right, whoops. And boom, boom. Alright, it's done, and uh, there it is. Now, it is in a mode right now where <laughs> only these are backlit, and I believe this is how you change the mode. Let me see. There you go. Now, that's like gamer's mode. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the lights so it appears as good as it looks. There we go. Alright, so this is the mode. Again, this is we're in bright daylight right now. It's bright outside. And we're gonna change it again. And uh, I, there should be a mode where everything gets activated. Huh. Oh, these are the modes, there you go. So you can see all the modes. Um, you can also dim the light. This is the dimmest. 
This is the brightest. Uh, they're both pretty bright. The dim one is, it's pretty cool, it's decent. Uh, and this is the bright one. Change the mode. Now if you see it, it's just, it's going, it's a very, very faint movement. I'm gonna try to make it brighter. It looks like as if the background is kind of fading away, and but the keys are backlit the way they're supposed to. Like I don't see the keys kind of fading away. It's just the background that fades away and comes back. And it's very, very faint that it's not going to bug you from what you're doing. So it's pretty cool. It's, it's definitely not going to bug you. And this is the uh, gaming mode. Fully backlit mode, I guess. I'm making modes as I go. This is the wave where it goes uh, bright and off. You can see it. And goes down, up. So it's nothing crazy that's going to distract you from your work. Gaming. Boom. And I believe there is a way to just turn everything off. And uh, let me see if. Yeah, this is everything off. Um, this one you can just push and hold to release it. And that way these become F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, and so on. You can push and hold it, and boom, you can get the secondary function, push and hold. Or you can just activate it and keep it locked to the secondary function. So the lights, or the brightness, so lights, brightness, or any of these things, play button, stop button, forward, backward, forward, new, lower uh, volume, higher volume, and the F12. Um, you can also activate the F12 pretty much activate the windows button so you can push the windows button or deactivates the windows button and uh, that's pretty much it now if you want to re reactivate the F1, F2, F3 button you can either push and hold this and deactivate it or you can literally push and go F1 and that will deactivate that will actually use the F1 function if you push this and do this or you can just deactivate it and just have just the F1, F2, F3 functions. Um, also, a pretty cool thing, let's just turn off the backlight. Uh, this pretty much is the arrow keys that are activated. And if you want to activate the um, numeric keypad, sorry, I believe this is numlock. So this one, you can actually use your keyboard fully. So if we are to turn on the backlight, uh, you'll see that this is kind of the whole numeric keypad that's activated and not the arrow keys. Um, so this is, I believe, numeric and this is when it's like home and so on. So in this mode, let's take away the light. In this mode, you can actually use the secondary keys. So insert home, page up, delete, and uh, page down. Sorry, it looks like page on. So I was like, what is that? Um, anyway, so this way you can actually use the secondary functions, you turn on num lock, you, you use all the number functions. Instead of having a big zero over here, they just have zero and zero zero, and that way they can fit in this uh, uh, directions keypad, and uh, at the same time have a new fully functional numeric keypad. And uh, it's, it's honestly, I kind of like it, whether it's with backlight or with not, but it's just absolutely incredible looking it's unbelievable I'm just gonna do this so I can see everything and you know what the F12 is it on no it's not we gotta go like this there you go and uh, you know what that one too that way you have everything backlit there you go again I'm not a gamer but I do type a lot and I'm looking forward to this I will make another video if I have any other comments how it is after we can literally this is just the first day I have a mechanical keyboard uh, my friend just introduced me to it and you know what I decided to give it a go so as I go along I will tell you what is good what is not good about it and uh, that is pretty much it so far I'm really excited so I'm not gonna say something that's bad because it's a little bit biased because I'm actually I don't know I just bought it and I guess I'm excited about it Anyways, that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, make sure you give us a thumbs up or you like us or just leave a comment. Alright, enjoy.